Hello class. I'm here to explain to you a little bit about one of the assignments which I've received some, inf uh, some questions on from some of the students in class. It's about the gap analysis of your ePortfolio. I know many of you have been using Optimal Resume your whole entire um, degree, your time here at Bryan & Stratton. And we've just recently changed to the ePortfolio within Blackboard. So for this assignment, what you are to do is you are to um, click on your gap analysis worksheet which looks like this, and go through your ePortfolio, which if you click on the EU links, Employable U, this is, um, I'm loaded as an accounting student. So these are all your program outcomes. And what these program outcomes are is this is how your course, your courses were built and your degree program based upon these program and institutional outcomes. In every degree program, the last five of your um, these program outcomes. So in this one here, so you start from the bottom, five, one, two, three, four, five. I want to consider your institutional outcomes. Institutional outcomes are tied to like your workplace capabilities or like your soft skills, like your information literacy. Do you know how to research information? Do you know how to cite your information? Do you know how to make decisions and research credible information? There's stuff like communication. Do you know how to orally and written communicate? Things like the uh, relational learning. Can you can make connections of your d your program or your courses and your degree to the workplace? So for accounting, um, what you need to do for this assignment is it would be nice if you can upload your uh, optimal resume um, evidence here, your authentic assessments, into these program outcomes that you feel that those authentic assessments meet. If not, I'm not asking you to do that, but that would definitely be uh, behoove you to do that because then uh, when you get in your capstone class you're going to be building what's called my cred and it's a great professional it's going to take all of this stuff here and make it a professional website for you to send employers to showcase your skills so like I said it would behoove you to move your optimal resume download and upload here um, some of your uh, authentic assessments might have what program outcome it meets some might not so it's up to you to determine what it needs and what you're going to use these for is you need to be able to speak to these program outcomes. And like I said, how we structure this degree course is that Brian Strand has these things called advisory boards, which are subject matter experts in field, along with employers who are going, this is what um, we feel a student getting an associate's degree in accounting needs to be proficient at. They need to know the GAAP um, accounting principles. And if they don't, then th there's an issue and that's why in your capstone course you're going to take what's called a culminating assessment which is going to be it's going to quiz you on all of these uh, program outcomes that you really know your degree and you know the program outcomes and you can speak to them so for this assignment do the best you can with your e-portfolio worksheet your gap analysis and if you know that you have and you can articulate you can speak to those um, program outcomes then that's all that you need for this assignment, that you do have the evidence supporting these program outcomes. So whether it's in your ePortfolio or your optimal resume, I prefer it here, but if not, that's okay. So this is just for you to determine maybe what, what per, um, project you don't have that is reflective that you can show evidence that you have met a certain program outcome. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, as always, please ask. Thanks. Bye.